Hello everyone. Thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today I wanted to make this video to share with you my insights today on why I feel these three tickers I'll be sharing with you will likely be going up. Before I begin, I'd like to inform you that the information I'm sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you make an investment decision, please do your own research. Let's get started. So ticker number one I wanted to share with you is company Agenus. The ticker goes by A-G-E-N. So let me go ahead and go into the visuals here and show you what I'm talking about. So Agenus, the current share price is hovering at $4.29 at the end of the day. In the aftermarkets, there was small little differences occurring. But what's surprising is the fact that the share price had gone up close to 30 cents today. And I had made prior videos on Agenus because I foresee this company to continue trending upward. And around the time of like $2, that's when I was making videos on this company. But I foresee that this company won't likely stop here. And I'll share with you reasons why as to why I feel this company will continue to go up. Now let's look at the six month trend chart. Back in May of 2020 of this year, it was hovering at $2.50, and it spiked up around the June time frame to $4. And since the start of June 22nd, where the share price was consistent with what the share price is today, August time frame, as you can see from June up through July 29th, it took a downfall of $2.50. 98 cents. So this was a good opportunity of purchasing. I think this was the time when I made the video to purchase and now look at the gradual change there. Increase. Now it's at $4.29. But looking at the the performance outlook from a short term, mid term and long term perspective, we see bullish here. Let's look at what financial analysts on Yahoo are saying. Okay, so of the three financial analysts, there are two that are recommending as a strong buy with one as a recommended for a buy with a high price target of $8 with an average set at $6.50. So let's say if you were to invest your money now, then you're getting it at an undervalued price of $4.30 with the anticipated average price of $6.50 with a high of $8. But hey, you never know, this company may go beyond the double digit range. Why? I'm gonna share that with you. But we're looking at a genus's product pipeline that's currently in clinical trials right now. So as you can see, it'll be broken down by mechanism target, what the medication is trying to target. The product name, you'll have the partnerships, what companies a genus is collaborating with, and then you'll see the different phases. The goal is to see companies in phase three, because there's in total three phases. Phase one, usually with 40 patients. Phase two, with hundreds of patients. Phase three, with thousands of patients to assess for safety and efficacy of your product. And before you pass phase three, before you get the approval, you'd have to file like a new drug application or a biologics license application to the Food and Drug Administration prior to approval. So the goal is to see the bars be towards the end, okay? But one thing I wanted to show you, I didn't want to focus too much on here, but you see there's antibodies testing, there's tumor associated macrophage. The one unique one I wanted to share with you on top of the cancers, are the uh, COVID-19 cell therapy tests here. So there's AGNT-797 Agentis in partnership that's currently in clinical trials. But just by looking at how many products there are, there are about greater than 15 investigational new drug applications submitted with the FDA alone for this company. So that there's 15 probabilities for potential success there. So to me, I feel like this is a value add company that can bring significant increases to your financial portfolio. Okay, so that's ticker number one. Now ticker number two I wanted to share with you is Sorrento Therapeutics, right? We've all heard of this company recently and I was making videos of Sorrento recommending this company back when it was at $4.50. And now today I've seen it materialize up to $12.28, but looking at it from a zoomed in view, from like a monthly perspective, we're we're frustrated because the share price was hovering at around the $20 range and now it's dropped by 
close to 45%, which is frustrating. But to me, the fact that this company will likely grow in the long term, I feel like long term investing is great for this company. And what's great right now is the fact that the share price is even lower in the aftermarkets. It dropped down an additional $1.65 because news has released that the uh, chief financial officer at Sorrento Therapeutics has just been fired. Uh, my guess is that there may be some external auditing taking place and the data accuracy may not be in line with its balance sheet. That's my theory. But to me, the fact that this company has several great products like the ACE2 dummy variable and the COVID-19 saliva test that does not require to be sent to labs, those are some game changer products. And on top of that, I know that one of the products had been filed as an emergency use authorization for quick use instead of having it go through the formal regulatory process, which takes very long. But for me, let's say if you're an existing investor, I would suggest dollar costing down. This share price may go down to single digits, so you may dollar cost down at single digits. But to me, let's say if you're a long-term investor, dollar costing down or if you're a new investor purchasing at this price is fairly decent. I mean, you're getting at $10. You can wait, but that's my recommendation for you, Sorrento Therapeutics. I firmly believe that this company can go beyond the $30 range. Uh, it's just a matter of when that time will come. So now I'm going to go over to ticker number three, and that is VBI vaccines. All right. So right when the market opened today, the share price went up like close to 10%. However, towards the end of the day, it, it sort of hovered down to the four dollars and ten cents but the good thing is each share price went up by eleven cents today so that's a good thing one of the reasons why VBI vaccines is getting so much attention is of course we all know of its hep B vaccine that's commercially distributed in Israel as well as in Europe and it's approved for use in Canada as well as the United States so that's great news for hepatitis infected patients now that the key driver for this company in terms of what has really raised its share price as of today it was the fact that VBIV has now partnered with uh, Therapew Pharmaceuticals to create its COVID-19 vaccine that is currently in preclinical trials. The manufacturing site will be in the Canadian area. So that's good news for VBI vaccines and I foresee that this company will likely go back to its prior resistance value of $6.17, if not higher. But of course, for me, how I see it is whenever a company gets a spike like this, give it about five to eight weeks pushed out from that high point peak because you can't have like another high point peak coming up or a trend up right like two weeks after the, the very big peak. So you give it some time, let, let the new support level kick in, let it accumulate, and then when time is unexpected that's when the share price will likely hover up very fast but that's very good news with VBI vaccines the fact that it's paired up with Therapeer that's good news that now it its original site is in Massachusetts and now it's partnering up in Israel and Canada as well I think those are two top countries to work with so the fact that they're working with Israel and Canada with its headquarters in the United States that branches out the the market for for global perspective and I feel like this company will in the long term go beyond a double digit range easily we just need to know uh, when but I'm not gonna predict that part of it but I know there's value in this company that's the key thing I hope that you found this video valuable with me sharing the three tickers especially with Aginus, Sorrento Therapeutics and VBI vaccines I hope that you found this video valuable and please hit the like and if you haven't subscribed I recommend you subscribing to my channel for more insights on similar related videos. So thank you so much for watching Investing with All I See is W.